no idea about writing, all of those rides would be so exhausting. I am pooped. Ah, yeah, I just wish you had wanted to go on something other than the rides for babies. I mean, I'm ready for the mega rides, like the crazy, drop matic or the dangler. Well, for starters, the crazy drop matic would not be good for my, my acrophobia, you know, my fear of heights. And the dangler would also not be good because you have to sit in that teeny tiny capsule, which is all closed in and tight. Again, my fear of closed in spaces would keep me from enjoying that ride. So, no. Uh, did you just take your shoes off? Yeah. Uh, put those back on. Your feet smell worse than the spicy pickle relish at the hot dog stand. But my feet hurt and there's a hole in my shoe. I did not prepare myself to trek all over this park. And if I had known that I was going to need to walk a gazillion million miles, I would have worn better shoes. <laughs> That's why I'm glad I have these superhero boots. They keep my feet dry and they are super comfortable for walking. Hey, what's that sound? Is that your watch? Oh, it's Iris. I wonder what she needs. I bet she read my mind and saw how terrible your feet smelled and is wanting to tell you about some foot deodorizer. The clock. I'm so glad that you are at Epic World. This has nothing to do with Sid's smelly feet. It turns out that the villain acrophobia is causing more trouble. Let me send you an image from the security cameras inside the park. Apparently, acrophobia is pouring chocolate syrup on the ride so that the tracks are slippery and the coaster cars are slipping off the tracks. This could cause a lot of danger for people on these rides. So it's time to suit up and stop the people of Epic World from getting on these rides. The lives of innocent people are in danger and we have a message that could save these people's lives. This sounds like a job for... The Clock. Plus, I'm kind of excited about the thought of eating some of those chocolate syrup on the roller coasters. Okay, have fun. I'm gonna just be here eating my popcorn, drinking some soda. What? You don't wanna go deliver this message? That's so unlike you, Sid. I mean, is that what the heroes from your comic books would do in this situation? Well, yeah, but it's just I'm so uncomfortable. I'm finally starting to get some feeling in my feet again. And the thought of putting these shoes back on my feet and walking all around this park sounds terrible. But we need to tell everyone about the chocolate syrup for two reasons. First of all, so they can be safe and not ride on the roller coaster that could slide right off the tracks. And second of all, so they can start eating all the chocolate syrup. Okay, let's go. Nope, 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 can't do it. <sighs> Said. Even though I'm the one with the superpowers, you've helped me feed acrophobia over and over again. The news that we have will save people from getting hurt on the roller coasters and help them enjoy the chocolatey goodness. We have to tell this news. No, like you said, you are the superhero, so it's up to you to save the day. I'll just stay here where I'm comfortable. Sid, that's brilliant. I'm the superhero. Wait. Are you just now figuring that out? Why is that so brilliant? Okay, 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 okay. I'm the one with superpowers, but I'm sure there is a part of the armor of God that you and I can both wear that will help us in this kind of situation. Then it'll be kind of like we both have superpowers. Hey Iris, do you know of anything that can help us in this situation? I'm way ahead of you, the clock. There is, in fact, part of the armor of God that can help both you and Sid in this situation. To help, I have a file that explains the mission behind these good news boots. I'll send it to your watch. You would think that sharing good news would be really easy, but sometimes we need courage to talk to people we may or may not know, even if we have something good to say. It can be scary to go to new places where the people we are sharing the news with might not understand it. God made sure we could go tell others about His love by giving us the power and the good news boots. Just three days after His death, God brought Jesus back to life. Jesus appeared to His disciples on a mountainside near Galilee. When they saw Jesus, they worshipped Him and thanked God for His love. 
Jesus had an important message he wanted them to understand. Jesus said, go and make followers of all the people in the world. Teach them to obey everything I have told you to do, and you can be sure that I will be with you always. The disciples knew that going to faraway places and sharing the good news of God's love might be hard, but they did what Jesus asked them to do. When we decide to follow Jesus, we should tell the people around us the good news about His love. Jesus' promise to the disciples is true for us too. He will always be with us. It can be easy to make excuses like, people might make fun of me, I don't know what to say, or it's too hard. But with the Good News Boots, God gives us the right words to say and helps us to not be afraid. When we suit up with the Good News Boots, telling other people about God's love has the power to change their lives forever. Wow, I didn't realize that the armor of God can help me spread good news that can save people. I need to put this back on so we can go. <gasps> That's more like it! Now, how about you take one half of the park and I take the other? Tell everyone you see about what acrophobia did to the roller coasters and make sure they stay off. Then, tell them the good news that they can eat all the chocolate syrup if they want. Okay, meet me back here when we're done. Great. Man, this park is huge! And there are a lot of roller coasters that acrophobia has sabotaged. Yeah, I mean, it would have been great to have the Flash's super speed. Man, if I could pick a superpower, it would be that. Or the superpower to bring people's shadows to life. Or, wait, being bitten by a radioactive bug. Well, or what else regardless would be really of the superpower you wish you had, I'm just glad that the epic people of Epic World got to see my awesome superpowers in action once again. Sorry to interrupt your muscle show, but I just real realized something. Even though I have a fear of large crowds, after I suited up with the good news boots, I didn't even think about it the whole time. I was out there telling people to stay off the roller coasters and inviting them to eat the chocolate. It was amazing. I bet it had to do with the armor of God like Iris was talking about. God took your fear away and helped you tell so many people the good news. So true. I just wish he would have taken away the craving I had for chocolate syrup about an hour ago. Then I wouldn't have eaten so much while we were running around the park. <laughs> Not me. I'm glad I ate three pounds of chocolate syrup. It was delicious. Oh, Iris just sent me a message on my watch. Ooh, what's it say? She said that we did a great job saving everyone from riding on the dangerous roller coasters, but it seems like they need some help cleaning up. Cool. Maybe we could go swimming in the chocolate after. Um, sure. Let's go. Let me say goodbye to our friends real quick. Today we learned all about the shoes of the gospel of peace, or as I like to call them, the good news boots. Did you know that you can suit up with the good news boots too? When we have as awesome of a message as Jesus making his way to reunite us with God because he loves us so much, it gives us courage to do lots of things in life, like facing big crowds, and most important, sharing Jesus with others. And when we share Jesus with our friends, we help them suit up with God's armor too. And we know when we face things with God, He is with us and He helps us. Make sure you come back next week to find out the next piece of armor. Bye.